everybody. Welcome back to Teach Me the Science. My name is Saren and today I'm going to be talking about pKa and pKb values. If you haven't already, I would recommend watching my video on Ka and Kb values before you watch the rest of this video. Alright, so what are pKa and pKb? The formulas of pKa and pKb are very similar to pH and pOH. pKa equals the negative log of Ka, while pKb equals the negative log of Kb. If you remember what pH and pOH are, they are a quantification of a concentration of OH and H plus on a logarithmic scale. This means pH makes the concentration of H plus ions in solution more easily understandable by representing it by a pH number. pKa and pKb do the same thing. While H plus concentration is a measure of H plus concentration in solution, Ka and Kb values are a measure of the amount of dissociation a weak acid or base undergoes. This gives us useful information about the concentration of OH- or H plus in solution. A Ka of greater than 1 means that there are more ions in solution. This means for a weak acid there's a larger amount of H plus ions in solution. pKa then quantifies the amount of ions in solution with a number that's on a logarithmic scale. A pKa that is closer to zero means basically the same as a pH that's closer to zero. There are more H plus ions in solution. This is why we use pKa's and pH's that are very close to each other when we make a buffer. That's all I have for today's video on pKa and pKb. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye!